Hi there and welcome back to the third video of the series how to obfuscate javascript code. In the previous video we had performed the demo of how we can obfuscate the JS file using the javascript obfuscator tool. Now in this video we will install javascript obfuscator tool globally in my machine and then we will obfuscate the JS file using the command line option which this tool is provided so to obfuscate the js file we will be gonna use this command using the command line option so now let's perform this demo right away all right so this is the demo application in which we had obfuscated this common operation dot js file using node.js in the previous video now once again we will obfuscate this js file but this time using command line option which this javascript obfuscator tool is provided but before that let's install the javascript obfuscator tool globally in my machine so to install that tool press shift key and then right click on your mouse and click this option which will open the powershell window now to install the javascript obfuscator tool we will again use the same npm command which we have used in the previous video so let's use that command now as i want to install this tool globally in my system so i am gonna use this option dash g and then and then press enter so now this javascript obfuscator tool is installed in my machine now let me listing the file of my demo application so now as i said to obfuscate this common operation dot js file i have to use this command line option So here I need to specify the input JS file, which is common operation dot JS in our case. So let me write down that file name. And then in the output option, I need to specify the new file name, which contains the obfuscated code for this JS file. So let's say it is. And now when I press the enter key. Here you can see that the new obfuscated JS file is generated. Now, before I open this file, let me explain something regarding this command line. Now, here output option is optional. So, let's say if you have not specified this option, then the newly generated obfuscated file will be generated with this name followed by dash obfuscated.js. Now let's open this obfuscated file. Okay, so here you can see that our newly generated obfuscated file is really hard to read and understand. But one thing is clear that this is totally a valid code. So this is how you can obfuscate your JS file using the command line option provided by javascript obfuscator tool 